Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between pulpal and periodontal pathology. Periodontal and periapical pathologies can occur together, which can lead to considerable difficulty in diagnosis. Within most clinical scenarios, in order to reach a diagnosis, it's important that we take an appropriate history, followed by an examination and special investigations. In this presentation, we'll be comparing the pulpal and periodontal pathologies and identifying the differences. So the first thing is the history. With periodontal pathology, there's usually no preceding toothache, whereas with a pulpal pathology, there may have been some toothache preceding the presentation. So the patient may have had decay or they may have had a large filling which has involved the pulp or they've had some advanced work such as a crown or a bridge on the tooth and that has caused pulpal irritation or pulpal necrosis. The type of pain is usually quite sharp and severe in pulpal pain, whereas in periodontal pain it's usually quite dull and aching. The tooth is tender on vertical percussion with pulpal pathology, whereas with periodontal pathology it's usually tender on lateral percussion. When you probe the gums around the tooth, in pulpal pathology, there's usually no pockets, whereas in periodontal pathology, there will be pockets present. If you investigate the sinus around a periodontal pathology, it usually leads and tracks into pocket itself, whereas with pulpal pathology, the probing may lead to the apex. You can get discharge occurring through the pockets with periodontal pathology, whereas with Pulpal pathology is usually tender around the apex. Swelling occurs around the gingivae in periodontal pathology, whereas it's tender and swelling can occur in the buccal sulcus in pulpal pathology. There is usually no mobility present in pulpal pathology, whereas in periodontal pathology there can be mobility present in the tooth. The timing, the pain usually precedes the swelling in pulpal pathology, whereas the swelling usually precedes the pain in periodontal pathology. Vitality testing usually reveals an exaggerated response in pulpal pathology or a negative response, whereas in periodontal pathology it's a usually a positive response. Radiographically, you may see some vertical bone loss in, in periodontal pathology and see some bone loss or periapical pathology with pulpal pathology. Well, we hope you found the presentation useful. If you did, then please kindly like the video and we'll be bringing more videos for you in the near future. Thank you again. Bye.